to show how wicked some people can be. It is totally unacceptable. It will not die, but live to declare the good works of God in Jesus' name. Amen. If you would recall back in December 2023, the news of Zach Audrey's poor state of health became public. It was revealed that he slumped in his toilet at home and was rushed to the hospital and was soon after admitted into the intensive care unit ICU for further treatment. According to reports at the time, the actor was unable to talk and walk as it was in a critical condition. Earlier this year, it was however reported that the veteran actor was in recovery at a private hospital in Abuja after undergoing brain surgery. Yeah, uh, definitely uh, good news. We're glad yeah. that he's alive and it's great that the AJN came out it's to debunk these rumors. Yeah. But I still don't get to how some people, I don't know where they get their information from, especially all those, your fellow colleagues on YouTube. That don't do it, <laughs> they're not my, they're not my friend. That, that, that they'll just come up, the, yeah, YouTube banner. I'm a YouTuber, but, I, but don't don't carry rumor. I don't carry rumor. Yeah. My page is a correct page. Like, Anytime you come there, you find good things. I mean, you, it is very true. We do our research. But these just, people, I just, don't understand They just create the story. It's for clickbait. It's unfair. It's unfair. And it is very, very sad. Sometimes nothing is even wrong with someone. You know, he was even, you know, sick. Yeah. But I've seen um, Osita here, Mess story there. It's so interesting people last week. I'm like, And Wait, I'm like, is why? This... What is wrong with these people? Right. They should just stop it already because, I mean... I still think they need to just use somebody as a scapegoat. But think. they've been using... Okay, maybe not in Nigeria. Yeah. Maybe not in Nigeria. But even in Yolabad must still use somebody else. And that girl, she's, she has not learned her lessons. Though. She still came out to say something like I, I some days it. ago. I saw it. It is well. Yeah. On to the next one. Yes. Um... AGN debunks rumors claiming Zach Oji has passed away. The president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, Emeka Rolos, has debunked rumors making the rounds claiming that veteran actor Zach Oji has passed away. In a post shared on his Instagram page, Emeka Rolos said the actor is alive and he wants the public to stay clear of this spreading misinformation regarding the actor. His post read, Mr. Zach Oji is alive. Please ignore mischief makers who enjoy circulating fake news. This is to show how wicked some people can be. It is totally unacceptable. It will not die, but live to declare the good works of God in Jesus' name. Amen. If you would recall back in December 2023, the news of Zach Audrey's poor state of health became public. It was revealed that he slumped in his toilet at home and was rushed to the hospital and was soon after admitted into the intensive care unit ICU for further treatment treatment. According to reports at the time, the actor was unable to talk and walk as it was in a critical condition. Earlier this year, it was however reported that the veteran actor was in recovery at a private hospital in Abuja after undergoing brain surgery. Yeah, uh, definitely uh, good news. We're glad yeah. that he's alive and it's great that the AGN came out it's to debunk the these rumors. Yeah. But I still don't get to how some people I don't know where they get their information from, especially all those your fellow colleagues on YouTube. That don't do it. They are not my. They are not my. That, friend. That, they are, that they will just come up. In the, so yeah, YouTube banner. I'm a YouTuber, but I but don't, don't carry rumor. I don't carry rumor. Yeah. My page is a correct page. Like, Anytime you come there, you find good things. I mean, you, it is very true. We do our research. But these just, people, I just, don't understand They just create the story. It's for clickbait. It's unfair. It's unfair. And it is very, very sad. Sometimes nothing is even wrong with someone. You know, he was even, you know, sick. Yeah. But I've seen um, Osita here, Mess story there. I've just seen people last week. I'm like, And I'm like, why? This... What is wrong with these people? Like, they should just stop it already because, I mean... I still think they need to just use somebody as a scapegoat. But think. they've been using... Okay, maybe not in Nigeria. Yeah. Maybe not in Nigeria. But even in Yolabad must still use somebody else. And that girl, she's, she has not learned her lessons. Though. She still came out to say something like I, I some days it. ago. I saw it. It is well. Yeah. Oyenka Owenu, yes, the elegant stallion, is working on a movie, yes. Yes, to document a music journey. Legendary Nigerian musician Oyenka Owenu has said she's working on producing a film that will reveal her experiences which spans decades within the music industry. She expressed her eagerness to share a first-hand account 
of the evolution of the Nigerian music in a recent interview. She said, and I quote, I'm currently working on a film that will chronicle my experiences in the music industry from the 70s to the present day. Having been a part of this narrative for decades, I have a wealth of stories to share. Uh, to share. The Elegant Stallion also disclosed her efforts to release her classic songs through collaboration with emerging artists, promising fans a compilation of rebranded tracks later in the year. She said, and I quote, I'm rebranding my old songs and collaborating with new talent. My aim is to offer listeners a fresh perspective on timeless classic, end quote. Reflecting on her philanthropic endeavors, she shared a commitment to providing educational opportunities for underprivileged children in Abia and disclosed the plan to expand our initiatives to Emo as the proceeds of our new song, Abutito, which is Songs of Praise, was dedicated to support widows uh, through the Rose of Sharon Foundation. She added, and I quote, I am passionate about using music to address social issues, from supporting widows to promoting education among rural children. I strive to make a positive impact through my art. We not only pay school fees directly to schools, but also offer civic education to instill a sense of cultural identity. This effort represents my dedication to empowering future generations and quotes. Definitely right. looking forward to this one. I'm looking forward to it. I think mm -hmm. she has earned it. I mm -hmm. mean, she's done a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think it is very laudable mm -hmm. uh, when she said that she would be using the proceeds from the work from yeah. the, you know, to uh, support certain people. Uh, congratulations to yeah. Ika Ueno. It's been a long time coming. She's done it all. Mm -hmm. She's acted. Mm -hmm. She sang. Mm -hmm. She's been a journalist. Mm -hmm. Have you seen yeah. our reports before? Yeah, true. I saw that, old, that old one. Uh, definitely looking forward to the movie. Uh, the part whereby she talked about song collaborating with yeah. emerging artists or artists that are popping. Looking forward to that one. You can I imagine. Am. I love it. You can imagine probably uh, uh, an Oyenka Ueno and, and Yemi Alade. Doing EO, why would you? Why, why, why would they you, pick my brain and now? Get out! It is because <laughs> of Angelique Kijo that you had to think that way. Yeah. Get out! So why didn't you call Tiwa Savage name inside this conversation? Only put, let's have that conversation. Okay, let's why, have that. Okay. Why? Let, why? 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 We have seen it, and it works. Not to say that if Tiwasave does it, it won't work, because we've seen Davido and Angelikijo, and it was so sweet. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Angelikijo is so flexible, and I think I want to even see our Nigerian, uh, you know, older artists go that route, because Angelikijo will do anything with mm -hmm. any young mm -hmm. person, yeah. and it and, will sink. And go fire. I can't even count. And is it the Ghanaian? Yeah. Is it the Nigerians? Mm -hmm. Is it, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, she, mm -hmm. and she is so welcoming. Yeah. You can actually see it. She's yeah. so flexible. That's that's what I'm looking forward to this project. It will be amazing. Oyenka when we're doing okay, let's do let's say the one that she did with King Sonia Ade. No, let's do Iyo Gogo. Iyo Gogo. Iyo Gogo. Go -go. Okay, so the elegant style, if you are listening, Iyo Gogo with Yemi Alade. Yes. The one you did with King Sonia Sonia Ade, maybe with Whiskid. Davido. Davido is a happy child. Okay, yeah. So we are we are we are thinking out loud for you, ma. So we definitely looking forward I'm not to that. that. <laughs> Let's I'm, move on. Okay. <laughs> Did I say anything wrong? Nah. Okay. All right. <laughs> So let's let's go on a break because you just stressed me now. We'll go on a quick we'll go on a quick break. I don't know when whether back. I said anything wrong, but I'll check. The entertainment I, sometimes news. I don't know when I when I go. The entertainment news continues. <laughs> Diddy says he is the victim of a witch hunt. <sighs> Sean Diddy Combs has described himself as the victim of a witch, witch hunt over the military level force used against him during the raids on his mansions in Miami, Los Angeles and New York. This was made known in a statement via his attorney, Aaron Dyer, 24 hours after the Homeland Security investigation. The statement reads, Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. He added, Mr. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities despite media speculation. Neither Mr. Combs or any of the 
his family members have been arrested, nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. This unprecedented ambush, paired with an advanced coordinated media presence, leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs. And it is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no findings of criminal or civil liabilities with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Aside speculations, CD has not been seen since uh, Homeland Security agents descended on his properties and as part of their investigation into an alleged sex trafficking. Sources told Page Six that the music mogul was planning to fly to the Bahamas to spend time with his 17-year-old twins, Jesse and Delilah, when the agents swooped in on his properties. They gathered evidence, including a number of electronic devices. ABC News reports no criminal charges have been filed, and TD has denied all allegations of sexual misconduct. Ah, it's, it's not looking cool. It's not looking good. It's not looking Didi. good at all, and I think that it's only a matter of time before he will be cooling his heels in jail. But what uh, has you been know, said? Um, yeah, so let me tell you, uh, because Cassie actually wrote something and was like, you know, uh, they're going she to allow it. the... She started it. I don't know why your face is like that, because you're doing as if... Because she collected her uh, money as if, now. As if, she, she, they paid her off. She was paid. She was paid. She was paid. But with that, let the pain go. I, I saw the statement by a lawyer. What is that one saying again? He should get sued for that, that statement he made. I am just saying here that I think because Yoruba people will say that, you know, somebody has defecated, you know, in the church. <laughs> I mean, you can understand that. So this guy has done a lot yeah. of, a lot of, so I think. People have been waiting for de this they, day. They've, they've been waiting for this day. And uh, hmm. let me tell you, at this point, I am so sad that Wendy is under the weather and Wendy is no longer doing daytime uh, sure, yeah. TV or doing TV. Uh, sure. She for go in. Ah! I'm going in. You know what? Because Wendy had been talking about this. Yeah. And it was as if, what's she talking about? She comes here, she interviews people, and she gets under their skin yeah. and all of those. How many OAPs, how many presenters do you see do that? Because they don't want to be friends with celebrities. They don't want to say the truth. They just want to, ah, your shoe is looking fine. Who that one help? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so I really miss Wendy Williams, yeah, honestly. And I am really looking forward to this because mm -hmm. Wendy would have asked. Yeah. It's just crazy. Definitely with the com commando style that they use, that means there's something that they are not saying yet. Yes. But we can't wait to find out what it is. And can't wait to find out Omar, what it is. it's just so sad. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's all we can take on Entertainment News. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Social View. Yeah, time to check out some of the What's crazy happening moments in this world? happening on social media. Um, um, Jigon and Diamusa Bobriski. Okay, yeah, let's just move on. let's just jump in right into it. <sighs> Abdul Mood says a woman that can cause drama and stop a wedding on Saturday is needed. Payment is two point five million naira. So, Miss, if I go do this one. So wait, if you now say that in this place, so in this place uh, now, who is the person that you think that's? Kind I will do it. Okay. Yeah. Then somebody that is like me, or probably worse than me, now said. Make it three million. I will bring two children that resemble the groom. <laughs> <laughs> so that the story we have will with, be sweet. Yeah, like I'll bring children. Like you let your children, you're getting married. No. In Sakpa 2. .5. And guess what? It does not even need any rehearsals. Ah, uh, it's yeah, yeah. You will just enter from the door. Hey, Reverend, <laughs> only there. <laughs> How dare you, so you be it's like you can do this thing too. <laughs> My own, it's a bit too drama. <laughs> it's a bit too drama. Why did you not send me? Yeah. So they, I will finish the job. They will say, ah, let us add Pay to you extra because, because ah, you killed it. Oh, you killed it. You so. killed it. So 2.5 million if you want to do this I'll also. I will say, I more, you know. Yeah. I will do it. I will do it. <laughs> On to the next one. This one says, don't, bring, don't be a boring <laughs> wife. Sometimes take his phone and delete all his female contacts. Sit down and wait for a war. Wait, what? 
Let me tell you something. With what? This is how some people just return to their... <laughs> With <laughs> what? Because what? <laughs> You, you know some of See, the female I contacts support, I, 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 I don't support certain yeah. things. I don't support certain things. And let me tell you, I understand that people will say that. So when you're married, you know, people have different things. They say, yeah. like, oh, your phones should be opened. And, you know, you shouldn't uh, have a password for your phone or your wife I have or your a spouse. Password, though. Your husband should know your password and all of those things. But I sincerely think that in this life, eh, I have advised somebody before. That stop checking your husband's face. You will meant because I feel like even if he's not doing anything, you will, you will something. find something. Yeah, there will be one cousin that you don't even know from anywhere that maybe they were best cousins yeah. growing up, and then the person just shows up one day and says, "Oh, I miss you," and you hey. just say, "I miss you," <laughs> and you just start. Who you go, is that? You go to what explain, is? explain, explain, explain. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do this, by the way. May you not go delete contact of person when go give your husband gig. I'm telling you. Yeah. Um, this is a WhatsApp um, conversation, and this person is saying, send me 2K. And the other person I replied, first of all, I want to thank you for believing in me. It takes so much trust and confidence to ask someone like me for money. With a broken heart, but with the total submission to the will of God, I announce to you in shame. Tan Naira, no bond me. <laughs> okay. I just like the fact that some, okay, are... some people rate you. Some people hold you in high esteem. There is a way they look at you. They just feel like you are uh, very up there and you should have something. Like you are you chilling. Know, you should have money. You are mm -hmm. chilling. Mm -hmm. And so, where they get the guts? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many people want me to pay their school fees? No, you do all right now. Uh, it's not that only the rabbi, only the shabarang. So when only I say... The, only, only, when only, I say, only, when, only I say when I say honey, the shabarang, <laughs> stealing you. When I say honey... <laughs> <laughs> honey, cocoa, honey, when, money, honey, when money. I say honey, the chaperone, it is that you I get. am Father Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> honey pots ghetto. Don't don't mind that. Sli ones, slide into our DM. Honey pots on mic. Okay. She got you covered. All right. Let's see when you go see buy me lunch today. As we did like this. Hi. Hi. On to the next one. Um, this one is a shade. Uh, I'll catch myself. It said, I know I love joking. But no one should take me for granted. Who took my airplane keys? <laughs> no, sorry, this is OJ. OJ Don't has an imaginary uh, jet, they, they, and it uh, is even matte black they, they, in his head, <laughs> and he has they, they. he has um, a key holder that customized foot smart. <laughs> he the, has everything in his head. The money is almost ready. Huh? Okay, hmm. watch out for it. You found the one that you is will not black. enter. You will not enter except my PJ. Well, I like here, but brother boy, I will enter brother boy zone. He doesn't have no rent. Hey, Lee. Oh, Lee, yeah, wrapping let's up. Let's go, let's go. Wrapping up. Let's go. Okay. We're not talking about it. <laughs> what happened to brother boy zone? The yes. last one says, if you get <laughs> epilepsy, you know big club for Lagos. Them go just think, say, you they vibe to the Ama piano. Now, so you go just... <clears throat> yeah, the way... The way this, especially the Ama piano and the facial expression, yeah. they are talking to you people here. Yeah. No, I, but jokes apart. They are talking to you people here. Yeah. <laughs> Please, <laughs> don't see somebody in need of your help and think that. You think it's dancing, dancing Ama piano? Ama piano oh, yeah, I, beg yeah, yeah, yeah. I beg you. I beg yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some things can actually be surveyed before this. Yeah. Please. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have from the world of social media on Social View. We'll be back with today's Daily Top 5. Oh, my God. Let's go. Yes. <clears throat> There have been, you know, uh, instances in music history um, <laughs> where musicians will look for far and wide for the perfect members to round off their music group. On the other hand, there are musicians who don't look further than under their roof and recruit their brother, sister, or cousin to be a member of their band. If you would recall, we talked about five throwback foreign sibling music groups. Today, we are bringing you another set of five, but this time, we're bringing it home. Let's get nostalgic as we take a look at five throwback Nigerian sibling music group. This is the Little Five.
Okay, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we are starting with Twin X. So twin X is an Arjun pop tour made up of identical twin brothers, Taiwo and Ken De Akintoye. Their journey into the Arjun music industry started in the year 2000 when they met Big Bamu. They released their debut song, Mother Me in 2001, a song that gained wide acceptance and ratings across the African continent. At a time, Mother Me was referred to as the best mother song of the new generation of Nigerian music and second to Sweet Mother by Prince Nico Mbaga in the all-time ratings and their run base grew, you know, uh, significantly across Nigeria. They parted ways with Big Bamu in 2003 and by 2004, they released the album Plenty Money. In 2006, they started their own label. Just records and released Oya in 2007. They uh, shot uh, the video in 2003, thereabouts, and since then they went silent. Yeah, um, the duo, um, Twin X. Twin yeah. X. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing, amazing duo. So the one is good. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and it's true what you said that that song was like a mother and to him. Yes, it was. For, I mean, yeah. second to yeah. sweet mother. Yes. On to the next one, Skooky. Yes, the Nigerian Afro hip hop duo composed of two brothers, Tumininu Laolu Oguniyi and Atewo Logun Laolu Oguniyi, popularly known as Baba Boom and Pichao. The brothers' debut single, Fire, stayed on the African edition of the Channel O Top 10 chart for four months and was number one for four consecutive weeks. Their single, Stamina, featuring Mocheda, and Banga featuring DJ Z's brought them awards and prominence. Cookie had another hit in 2013, but they later went ahead to release a club and dance track, which they titled Vumva featuring Fino. In 2015, they released the remix of their 2014 single, Bemileke featuring Tewa Savage. Well, if not that, you know, it was very well out there that their brothers, you wouldn't even have yeah, because true. they don't even look alike. What do you mean? <laughs> Maybe one looks like mommy and one looks like daddy. Or one person looks like somebody in the family, like extended family. What do you mean? I don't know. I just know that children's looks can just be very interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the Lija Du sisters. Mm. Identical twin sisters, Taiwo and Ken De Lija Du, were Nigerian music tour from the mid 1960s to the 1980s. Their music was a mix of jazz, Afrobeat, reggae, and waka. Sometimes they sang in English and other times in African languages. They released their first album, Yami in 1969. The sisters were top stars in Nigeria during the 1970s and 80s. During these years, they branched out to a America and Europe and found modest success. They were cousins of popular Nigerian musician Fela Kuti. Since the late 1980s, they retired from the music scene while Kende died in November 2019. Everything you'll be doing this sucks. Yeah, enter, oh, enter okay. okay. Yeah, we're still talking about sibling musical group. Do you want to say something about the Lija sisters? <laughs> yes, I was watching a documentary about them a while ago and it was so interesting to think that all the things that we talk about now have existed, you know, back then. Mm -hmm. And in fact, one was very calm and one, uh, they're both calm, but you know that one can go all out yeah. and the other one was just very, very calm mm -hmm. like that. Um, it's just so interesting, yeah. very, very interesting. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're still talking about sibling musical group in Nigeria, Mamuze Twins. Yes, the enigmatic music duo is made up of Antonio Akpo Dixon and Andre Andos Dixon. They were well known for their African music and energetic dance. They released their debut singles in 1999 titled Abi, You Know No Say, Giovanna God and Bobo, which got them into limelight after I earned them the Black Pearl Award in South Africa as Best New Act and Most Entertaining Artist in Africa. The letter went into gospel and they are still together till date. Stefan. Get out. <laughs> no sense. No, I don't even want to look at you. <laughs> All right, Mamuze right there. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about P-Square. They were one of the most formidable music duos made up of Peter and Paul Okoye and their elder brother Jude Okoye as their manager. In 2001, Peace Square won the Grab the Mic competition and later Benson and Edges sponsored their debut album titled Last Night, which got them a nomination as most 
promising African group in the Kora Awards. In 2005, they released their second album, Get Squared, under their own record label, Square Records. The group gave us hits back to back and also winning numerous awards until 2017 when the group disbanded. But the good thing is that they are back now and we're definitely waiting for a project. They drop singles, but we're waiting for a project. It's good to have them back. All right, so it is good to have them back. True, true. True, true. All right, that's all we can take on today's show. We want to say a very big thank you to you, you, and you for being a part of the show. I've done this with this uh, light-skinned human. <laughs> I really don't dig him, but he says that his name is OJ. Uh, it is what it is. Or the feeling, something, the feeling is mutual. My name is Honey Potto, and well, our weekend started. How do you even like it? Thank you. Thank you.